Hi guys, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, I will be taking you through the speaking module of the IELTS exam. So let's have a look at what exactly the examiner looks for in the IELTS speaking exam. So basically in the IELTS speaking exam, the examiner tries to look for your ability to have a conversation and communicate confidently and put across your ideas rationally in a discussion forum or even communicate your ideas or your particular stance that you have taken confidently. This exam lasts for a duration of 11 to 14 minutes and has three sections. Just remember the speaking exam is a one-on-one -on -one exam or a face-to-face -face exam with the examiner. So now let's have a look at what you have in the three different sections to begin with in the first section of the speaking exam. The first section is basically an interview and an introduction round which lasts for a duration of four to five minutes and the topics is of general uh, interest of your personal interest, your personal information, your career, your uh, work experience and everything related about yourself. So in this segment, speak freely and confidently, give correct and apt answers, don't let your answers hang in the air, complete your answers, give a complete explanation, add a personal touch by which I mean uh, give some examples because the questions will be more like can I know something about the place you're coming from, can you tell me about the food that you, uh, if from the country you're coming from, what is your plans when you go to university, which subject would you like to study and things like that. So give your personal experience, tell them why you want to do something or what is special about that particular question or if you have any example relating to that that you have been through, tell them all that. Speak very freely and confidently because in this particular segment they are trying to judge your ability to have a good general communication. Moving on, let's see what you have in store for section 2. Section 2 is basically an individual speaking round which lasts for a duration of 3 to 4 minutes including 1 minute of preparation time. So here the topics are basically of social or general interest. It could be daily uh, news or some social topic that's in you know uh, current trends or current affairs or something like that. And here basically you will be given a card, a paper and a pencil by the examiner. The card will have the topic on which you have to speak about and questions related to that. So remember you have to speak for one to two minutes at a length. Do not stop in between until you are interrupted by the examiner or uh, he signals you to stop. So basically he will, the examiner will interrupt you with the question when they feel you have spoken enough about the topic covering all the questions that was asked. In the, in the car regarding that particular topic. So here basically they look for your communications, your ability to rationally put your thoughts and ideas together and communicate it confidently and clearly. So these are the key things you need to keep in mind for this particular segment and speak clearly. Do not fumble when you speak. Be, make yourself audible. Be loud and clear. These are the few things that you need to keep in mind. Moving on to the third section of the speaking segment. So here you will, uh, the discussion will continue, it is a two way discussion and uh, the discussion will be based on the topic that was given to you in section 2. This usually lasts for a duration of 4 to 5 minutes and here you will have to uh, explain why you have taken that particular stance. The examiner might ask you why you chose to defend the topic or go against that topic or uh, why you uh, wish to explain something in a particular way and why you have given a particular example. So these are the kind of things you will have uh, and you will have to explain or discuss this with the examiner confidently and here he is trying to check your ability to have a discussion without any preparation time. So be very confident again. Confident plays a very very important key role in your speaking exam. So be very confident when you are trying to communicate with them. Be very clear in this segment as well. So this was about the three sections of the IELTS speaking module. Let's have a look at the aim of the speaking module. So basically the speaking module uh, aims to look at the usage of good grammar, vocabulary and language as you're speaking and the flow and fluency with which you speak. Apart from that, the most important thing is your confidence. They look for your confidence level when you're having a discussion or when you're speaking, how you communicate things, how well you're able to put your ideas together and communicate it and defend the stance that you have taken through your speech. And be very clear with your pronunciations, be loud, be audible with what you speak because they need to hear and understand and these are the key things that they look for in the speaking exam. 
So this was it about the IELTS speaking module. In my upcoming video, I will be giving you some tips to polish your speaking skills. So do stay tuned. Thank you. Tutorialspoint.com. Simply easy learning.